Georgia will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Tackle around the 29 yard line. Throws out and through his hands. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Fourth and six. Oh, excellent punt. Down the 21 yard line. The Bulldogs offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Here we go. Check, 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 check. Motion, motion. Hot, 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 Fires right side. Got his tailback. Brought down. Right around the 40. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Mike 12. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Cut! So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump off pass that was good enough for a first down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 44 yard line. Ready! Hot hot! Right, 50! Wide! Hot hot! Hot. Passes it to the middle of the field. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Let's Room around the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Level at the 20. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It would be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He's 
taken down at about the 13. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Georgia is looking to go up by three. It's up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. Georgia's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. He's got an opening. He makes his way to about the 42. That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. He's scrambling. Tackle made at midfield. Zips it to the tight end. And he's immediately tackled. That's a deep four. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 3-0, Bulldogs. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. On the run, right side. He takes it right side for a good game. To the end zone, intercepted. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts of getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. It's first down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. Georgia is up a field goal. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. That's good for First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. 
Number 27 brings him down. First and 10. Ball on their own 28. First and 10. He's out of bounds at the 31. That'll make it second and seven. Mike 12. Mike 12. Let's go. Black 98. He's hit and taken down. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. From their own 44-yard line, it's third down. Georgia holds a field goal lead. bring him down. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football, but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Right, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And he's hit immediately. to that quickly and that was a really well played series by the defense it did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much that going on that possession four. and they're coming after this punter They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open hey, it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Georgia is up by three. He goes out of bounds at the 21. Half 
back screen. Incomplete. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Booming kick. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's going right. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From midfield, first down. It's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. Got some open field. To the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. There's a strike complete. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Tackle around the 44-yard line. Clemson will have one timeout remaining. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20. Makes it to the 11. The defense has got to be thinking, if they've already forced a red zone turnover, maybe they can do it again right here. To the end zone. Got a man. Open touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. This is a big review right here. Was it an incompletion or a touchdown? After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field stands. stands. So they uphold the call on the play. Touchdown. After watching the replay, it was pretty apparent that this was an easy one to call. Great catch for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia has a three-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Georgia's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. 
Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And that one's fallen incomplete. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. 10-7, Georgia. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced. David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So... When you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Georgia is up a field goal. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down right around the 34. They go to the ground, and he stops short. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He really got a hold of that one. He's got the corner. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Over the middle to his tailback. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at the 41. Makes the catch. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it fourth and two. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Four down, four down. Check 
Georgia holds a field goal lead. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 29 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. Check three, check three, check three. Twelve to the mic. Let's go. Motion, motion, motion. Motion. Motion, 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 motion. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 28. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires it quickly. Brought down at the 43. Back and he's hammered in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. He's looking for his man. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Receiver dropped it. Incomplete. Number 19, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Oh, excellent punt. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Georgia is up by three. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. The draw play to the running back gives him eight or nine yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Play action. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. That's good for a game. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings him second. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. From the 43-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 34. That brings up second and one. He's scared. Mike 12. Mike 12. Let's go! He's hit and taken down. 
that's, that's good, good for a game of 12, 12 yards. yards. First, first down. down. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Georgia has a three-point lead. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Fires it out. He's into the open field. And they push him out around the four-yard line. I think the big thing for a defense when they face a screen is chasing it from the inside out, which means the defensive linemen are the key to slowing down a really well-executed screen pass. Because if you think about it, the offensive linemen are getting downfield blocking against the linebackers and the safeties. The defensive linemen have got to be able to recognize screen and then have the quickness to be able to chase the running back down from behind before he gets his momentum going and can outrun. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Just outside the goal line. From the one yard line, third down. Some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Georgia's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense and took points on. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Caught a big hit there to stop it. Side. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's a good break. Third down. Gets it. He's in space. And he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. tailback and he's met in the backfield and the halfback's got nowhere to go if it's any consolation he did pick up some positive yards but i doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took throws left the running back's got it that's a great tackle at the 46 yard line complete and he's got space to work and he's tackled at about the 33 yard line wants to go long and does throws and he's got a man touchdown These four guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. 
and he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So the score now, 17-14. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws middle to the tight end, and he's tackled right away. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Four down, four down. Check three, check three, check three. Twelve's the mic. Let's go. Red 68. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Hut, hut. Gonna hit the ground incomplete. Number 17. They're about four yards away here on third down. Oh, screen pass intercepted. And he's taken down at about the 25 yard line. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. There's a strike complete. Just under two to go in the game. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. You know, I give kickers a lot of grief, but you have to have nerves of steel to make a kick like that. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. He's going to go for the home run. Can't make the grab. It's third and nine. Ball on the 26. Player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They don't have the luxury of a lot of time. They'll need to go into a hurry-up mode and hope someone can step up and make some plays. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. Passes left, going the other way. Number two makes the interception. 
was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Under a minute left. Looks middle, got his back. First down. Ready, red 18. Check, 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 check. Caught out in the open. He's at the 40. Brought down in the open field. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog, big dog. First down. Quick, quick. Ready. Black 98. Going deep, lays it out there. And this one's broken up. Number 17 was the intended receiver. From the 39-yard line. Second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. Here's the halfback on the screen. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So it's coming down to the kicking game. This to give them the lead. The kick is away, and he just drilled it from long range. Georgia's staff just devastated when you look at them over on the sideline after that turnover. Well, everything seemed to be falling into place for them with a chance to win the game and then to turn it over like this. Oh, my gosh. What a nightmare. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. I don't know if they have the time to go for the win. They've got to be sure to get into the field goal kicker's range and get the game into overtime. Clemson will have one timeout remaining. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they make the stop at the 48. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. That tackle just sealed the deal. And the ball game's over. The Bulldogs come out on top, 20 to 17. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Clemson had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.